Hello friends and welcome back to Frontend Pathsala. Hope you guys are doing good. In today's video, we will learn how to create responsive table using HTML5, CSS3 and Booster 5. So you can see here like when we resize the browser screen, the table changes. Like it will not behave as a table anymore for smaller screen. So to achieve this, let's get started. Here I have the basic HTML syntax. Now inside the body tag, let's start coding. Create a section tag and inside that create a div tag. And under that div, let's create the table. Just given the headers as first name, last name, age, date, email, and phone number. And inside the key body, we'll just give some random first name, last name, and so on. So our table is ready now. Let me give a heading to this table as responsive table. And let's check it in the browser. So here you can see the table which we have created. To decorate this, I will be using Bootstrap 5. So let's go to Bootstrap 3 website and I'll just copy the CSS link and paste it under the head tag. So let's Start using the bootstrap classes now. You can see how the table is appearing as of now. Next, we have to use HTML5 data title attribute in order to make it responsive and we will access it via CSS. Inside PD, let's give data title is equals to, we have to give the heading name, that is first name for the first one. Let me just copy this data title to all the PDs. Once done, we'll create the style tag and start writing media query. One more thing, we have to give ID for this div tag. I'll just give no more tables. Then now let's write the media query. I'm given the max width as 800px. And I think it will work for all the small screen devices. Now inside this media query, for the body trtd, we'll give display block. We'll give id name t head pr and we'll set the position as absolute
and drop and left as minus 9 meaning px. Next for the CD, that is, we'll give the ID name CD. We'll set the position as relative and we'll move this to the right hand side. So I'll give padding left as 50%. Now we'll be using the before selector in CD. And you can give the CSS content and then attribute as the data title uh, next to this we'll give position absolute and we'll set the left as 6 px now let us make this font bold It looks better now. To this table, let us add few more rows. I'll just copy the same thing. It looks nice now. So that's it guys. We have completed our responsive table tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know your feedback in the comment section below. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.